Welcome back to my channel, Indo Sarang. I am Sanya, and I have a very, very, very special guest with me today. Who are you? I am Sudiksha. So Sudiksha is here because I literally forced her to do a video with me, and I thought she'd be the perfect model for a Korean makeup look, an innocent Korean makeup look. Yeah. So we're going to be trying that out. And I'm going to be using some really, really affordable products in this video, and I will link all of them down below in the description. And so let's just get started. I'm actually without... really excited for this. Can't Are you? Wait. Are you? Yeah. I've been doing her makeup since like many, many years. That's now. true. That's, that's actually. Right. I'm her makeup guru. Yeah. First of all, let's hydrate. <laughs> Let's get started. Um, first things first, I am going to be moisturizing her skin a little bit. So I will be using the Innisfree Jeju Pomegranate Revitalizing Serum. So show me your face. Yeah, your gorgeous face. I usually just put it directly through the bottle. Oh God, it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> it's winter. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Wow. Um, but like I genuinely like I have like a oily skin. Yeah. So will it? I hope I won't like break out. No, no, no. You won't. This is like it's super light, mm -hmm. and it's very like um. How do you say? It? The consistency is like a gel. Oh, okay. So, so yeah, gel products work good. In my skin. Yeah. Gel is nice, mm -hmm. and already if you can see it, like gives a really nice shiny. I don't know if you can see it. Glowing situation yeah. to her face. And then, um, while this soaks, I am going to be taming your eyebrows a little bit because Korean eyebrows are usually straight, and I'm not going to mess up your shape. I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. Mm. Okay. So, um, for cleaning her brows, I'm going to be using this razor. Have you ever used one of these? Never. So you only get your brows threaded. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I started using this like a while back, but this is very very handy. I hope you know how to use that because I need to go out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I have to go out tomorrow. Maybe you you should have faith in me. Okay. <laughs> so all I'm gonna do is basically stretch her skin a little bit. She's already got a great shape going. It's just to clean up the edges a little bit. Also, I think guys, don't be too harsh with the razor. Yeah. Like you might just like cut yourself. Did I cut you? No, <laughs> Is that your way of telling me no, it's too no. hard? Sadly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Looks nice. She's any different. She's any different. She's still cute. So uh, next, I'm going to be doing her brows. I usually do like to do my brows before I do my foundation or anything. It's just easier, and I yeah. feel like not a lot of your foundation sometimes gets into your brows, and that's just mm. an ugly look. So I'm gonna be doing that first for her. So I'm just going to first brush it up. <laughs> you a uh, straight doll. Yeah. Look. It's about it, and then I just redo really the brushing motion to make sure it blends really nicely. That's it for the brows. They look great. Yeah. Can you see? Can you make out anything? Cute. So um, the next step in any Korean beauty regime is always to have sunblock. 
under your makeup. So after I put a serum, I'm going to be using this um, Lotus Herbals Safe Sun 3-in-1 Matte Look Daily Sunblock. And it's like, it's got a bit of makeup in it. Yeah, okay. So it, like a bit of foundation. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So it's like, it's very light. And I, you really don't need more than this much. Okay. Because we usually go in with a foundation after. Mm. So I'm just going to dot a little bit on her face. Once again. And just, and the, the trick is to put it here on your, apple, on the apple so your cheek will go out. So uh, after this, whatever product I have left on my fingers, I'm just going to put it on your eyelids. One thing I do like to do is use my hands a lot to do. That just <laughs> but, okay. No. I just feel the warmth helps like melt everything into your skin and it looks really effortless and like gives it a really, really, really nice finish. And next for the foundation, I'm going to be using this Innisfree Cushion Foundation. It's the Waterfit Cushion Foundation in the shade W33. So I'm just going to dip it into the puff like so. And start dabbing the foundation on the skin. Like, it's buildable. Like, for you, I feel like one layer is good enough. Because I do like a few of your imperfections or natural... Mm. Um, you know, texture of your skin to show. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing where whatever's left on the product, or maybe I'll just take one dab of it and put it on her eyelids. Close your eyelids. So, up next, I'm going to be doing your eyeshadow. Mm. And I'm going to be using this Huda Beauty palette. It's got some really nice, like, pinky and golden shades. Yeah. This one. And I'm going to be taking a flat brush like this one. And the shade I'm going to be doing for her today is right this pink rose gold color. Oh, this shade is so pretty. So are we like smoking it out or what are we doing? No, like the Korean makeup is super natural and mm -hmm. it's really glowy. So oh, like on, dewy, glowy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like super shiny and mm -hmm. you know, like the glow should come from a view should look like healthy and pretty and iridescent. Oh. So that's the kind of look I'm trying to do for you. Again, I'm not a makeup expert. It's just mm -hmm. what I do like on on the like daily. Faces. Yeah, like I this is the kind of makeup I usually do. Then I am going to be taking this crease brush mm -hmm. and the shade I'll pick is going to be this um, very warm brown color so I can just define her crease a little bit and just feather it out So um, I think this is good enough for the crease, but I do want to add a little bit more color to your outer edge here. So I'm going to take this magenta looking pink. I know it looks a bit intense, yeah. but I'm sure once you blend it out, it's going to be great. From the outer V, you just connect it back to the crease. <laughs> and I'm going to go back with this shade just to intensify the crease a little bit more. Yeah. I think that's it for the eyeshadow. What to do is instead of using eyeliner, I'm going to use eyeshadow as your eyeliner. But why is that? So, um, when you are going for like a more day or Korean-esque look, yeah. it's very natural like I said. And eyeliner sometimes can look really harsh. So if you use like a brown eyeshadow. Warmer tones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It yeah. opens up your eye and it looks yes, more same natural. Time looks very exactly, yeah. it looks more natural. Taking this shade here, it's very subtle and brown. It's more like an ashy brown. 
and I'm just going to tight line her upper waterline. And towards the end, just flick it out a little bit. So do you use liner or do you use shadow usually? Um, both. But like on a regular basis, like if I'm going to work or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, for a day-to-day -day look, um, I usually just use an eyeshadow and exactly what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Like a black eyeshadow, I just like run it through my waterline, upper waterline. Mm -hmm. That's my everyday look. I go pretty heavy on my eyes. Like because you don't like the natural look much, like yeah. No, not just that. Like I'm not. Um, I don't like to do my makeup like all the way. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not much of a lipstick person. Okay. But like I like my eye. I like to do my eyes nice. Like it has to be popping. Yeah, up. it has to be popping. So I'm not going to be using any concealer on her today because I truly feel she doesn't need it. Next, I'm going to go with this blusher. This is by uh, Rimmel London in the shade 041 Bronze. And I'm just going to be putting it on the apples of my cheek smile. And the thing about Korean makeup is they don't just stick to the cheeks with blusher. They tend to put it like in a three shape. So like this on the nose and then back on the cheeks. Oh. So they say it gives a more instant look. That's it. Easy. So next I am going to be highlighting the crap out of her face <laughs> because she has to be glowing like from within. Yeah. So I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Summer Highlighter Palette and I primarily use two shades. It's this rose gold one and this more pale yeah. color so i'm going to use the rose gold one mostly on her cheeks and the other one i'm going to use for highlighting on the high points of her face I'm going to use this fan brush and dip it into the Next, we have mascara. It will look like this. I use a very, very, very light mascara. And the one I'm using today is the Kiko Milano Luxurious Lashes Waterproof Mascara. So the, a trick is to always take your wand and wipe it on the tip of the bottle so that mm. you're not picking up too much product. And instead of zigzagging up, you roll the mascara wand. So again, lift up and roll, lift up and roll. So I'm going to go back to the eyes and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take this shade that we took in her crease and just put it along your waterline, your lower waterline a little bit. Look up. Just open your eye. So next, I'm going to again take this pink shade and I'm just going to highlight the inner corner of your low waterline. So it's very desirable in Korea to have like a puffy under eye like we call the egg you saw. Have you ever heard of it? What? Why? It's just, it says like when you've got like a more puffy under eye, it's more healthy. You look oh. younger. I think those are the eyes done. 
and finally we move on to lips so for her lips today i'm going to use the dear darling tint from etude house mm. and have you ever used a tint before mm, no never no. did these are so these are really nice so i'm going to do the same thing that i do with the mascara and wipe off the excess so open your mouth and so when you're using a tint you just put it in the center of your lip mm -hmm. okay and the top center of your lip and keep pressing it till it blends i'm going to do that with you just keep don't rub it just ah uh, So guys, there you have it. This is the final finished look on yeah. my my Google <laughs> Hadid. <laughs> so let's do a reveal for her and see what she thinks. Wow, wow. So honestly, TDH. I've never put a highlighter, but I'm totally digging this. You're like, like glowing I to the gods. This. Yeah, it's like a little too much of highlighter for me. That's on that's like on a personal level, but I don't mind it at all. You're like glowing, yeah. no? I don't mind it at all. <laughs> I love your flick. I love the flick. Yeah, you it's so natural and so pretty, no? So there we go, guys. We got the seal of approval by <laughs> my darling, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. You will be seeing a lot more of this gorgeous human being. in the videos coming up next so please do like share and subscribe if you like today's video and uh, let me know down in the comments below if there's anything else particularly you want me to shoot so until next time bye, bye. say sarangi sarangi <laughs>